Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, it might be a little bit difficult to tell, or not, but I am under my car at the moment. And it is sitting on stands. And what I am doing is replacing the idler arm bushings. Now, what I did today, and how I did this, and it's pretty simple. I actually managed to do this on the car. First of all, the first step you want to do is to make sure your car is supported. The jack stand isn't on the, I'll say control arm because I'm pretty sure that's how they're, that's what those design are. Yeah. It's not sitting on there, but the car is on ramps and I do have the jack in the middle still because I want to do this safely. Now, the second thing you're going to want to do is you see that little, uh, yeah, that thing. It has a 17 millimeter nut on it. And you want to undo that, and you can kind of maneuver the idler arm down and off of it. And the bushings that were in mine were all old and whatnot, and they essentially just fell apart. So I took a screwdriver and kind of cleaned it out in there. I know it's not necessarily the proper way to do it. And then shoved a rag through it a couple times. And I'm going to clean off that. I'm sorry that, or I apologize that the camera won't really focus in on it. Or I can't see it too much right there behind. And then I'm going to put in the new bushings. So I know we're going upside down. At least I am. And... Here, we have the shaft that the idler arm sits on right there. I'll bring this back straight up and down so everyone can see it. And you can grease that. Well, this one obviously hasn't been greased in a while. So we're going to have to do that after we get the new bushings back on. And I would be cleaning this with brake clean. Honestly, you should too. Or something of the sort. But <clears throat> I don't have any at my disposal today. So I'm really just going to clean it off with a rag as best as I can. And <clears throat> then put the new ones on. So it's pretty good. <clears throat> and that's that. <clears throat> what we're going to do now is grab the new bushings and put them on. So right here is the kit that I ordered off of Jegs. It has a new lock washer and plate there. Or a lock nut, sorry. And these two new bushings. Now I don't know <clears throat> what side goes on where. Because I think the f this one, which is a little bit wider, goes on the bottom. But we're going to trial and error that real quick. And while we do that, put them on, obviously. So here's the wider of the two. I'm just going to, okay, that's not going in the bottom. Let's see if it slides into the top. Okay, that's not a good sign. <clears throat> that one goes into the bottom. And, okay, I think there's still a little bit of crap in there so I'm going to clean that out and then I'm going to put the new bushing in. Alright it's been a week since I last got to do this stuff. I got a new bushing kit and we're going to install it today finally. So just because I'm going to take this other bushing out, put it to the side, make sure these ones line up with the uh, the one I'm about to put in, which it does. Now, I'm just going to, you know, put that one there, going to put that one there. <clears throat> they seem to stick out just a little bit, which I'm just going to push them down kind of. Looks good enough to me. I'm going to attempt to swing this back around. Mm. 
Ow. Don't do don't do what I just did right there. Whoop. Whoop. I hope you're enjoying the sound effects. Come on. I know you came off like that. I know you can go on like that. Let me finesse this, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so how I did this, I put the top bushing on the rod first, and then I shoved this kind of up there, and then I got it to where I could put the bottom on it, and then I'm going to tighten it slowly and have it all come together. And just like that, it is together. It looks pretty good. I'm sure that that's not quite the proper way to do it, but it's working on there. It looks all good there. But the real test is going to see, it's going to be if this tire moves like it used to. So I have the car up right now. It is a lot higher than what it should be. It is a lot higher than what I want it to be, but let's try and move this tire. Nothing. That thing is tighter than a nun in a bank vault. So, I might need wheel bearings though. I know that that noise there is the uh, brake rotor, but... I think there's a little bit of play on the hub, but that's for another day. If you enjoyed today's video, and if you have found my channel because of this video, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. This car is uh, a very big project, and I hope that if you do subscribe, you will uh, enjoy it as much as I do. That feels pretty good. Hopefully, that fix there with the new bushings will fix my steering problem. Or at least help combat it. And uh, hope that you all have a wonderful evening. Let's see if I can let this jack down nice and easy now though. One-handed. Okay. Two hands.